Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. Uh, in previous video tutorial, we have learned how to short map based on the values instead key, right? And this is the code which uh, I had written in my previous video tutorial, right? Uh, but here, if you look in the key and value, key is the integer and value in the string, right? So this is the pre-existing classes in Java. Let's see same how we can achieve for custom classes. So here. I have written another class right and here uh, basically key is integer that is nothing but employee id and value is a corresponding employee object itself right so here for uh, basically here of course our value we have a custom object right so let's say I would like to basically sort uh, this map based on the key so when we talk about the key key is the in entire employee object right and this is the basically model class i have created which contains which contains few fields constructor and public gator method and i have overridden to string method right so let's say i have a map right uh, key is nothing but the employee id and value is employee object and i have added some uh, basically entry i mean key value pairs right now uh, here just i am displaying the original map right if i run this then you'll see original map will be uh, displayed so here as you know has map doesn't maintain any kind of insertion order and all right so here uh, basically uh, here these are the entries we have added in the hash map now i want to uh, sort uh, based on the uh, employee when i say employee employee has a many fields on which attribute you'd like to sort so let's say in this case i would like to sort based on the employee name then how we can achieve this so if you want to sort a map based on the key then you have already tree map right you can put uh, uh, basically these things in the uh, basically tree map and uh, this record i mean entry object will be sorted based on the employee id right but here thing is that i need to sort based on the value right so let me show you how we can do that and for that uh, we have to start coding now here i'm going to basically i have a map i'm going to get entry object out of this right so we have a entry set a method in map right and this will return us the set of entry object right now in similar fashion what i did for the basically uh, in this uh, same approach you have to ap uh, apply over here now i'm going to create a list and list uh, will have a list of entry object nothing but the list of entry object here yeah. let's say name of this variable is list only and you can take any implementation of the list here i am going to take just array list right and array list always accept uh, basically collection object so uh, here entry object we can pass this is nothing but the set so here we can pass it and now uh, let me press ctrl shift 4 for organize import and let's import list now we have a list and here in collections class right collections is the utility class uh, collections is a class in java.util there you can find lot of utility class one of the utility methods one of the method is called sort so there is overloaded method second method is which first argument text list and second is a computer that i'm going to use so list i'm passing which i would like to sort which contains list of uh, entry object and here you have to pass uh an object of comparator so here you have many choices either you can create anonymous class right like this or what we, you can create what you can do you can create a separate uh, class that will implement comparator interface and there you can provide the comparison logic or directly you can implement as a anonymous class right so just i have created anonymous class and here what you can see you have a two object right two entry object right o1 and o2 so here i'll do o1 dot get value and then i'll say get get value when is nothing but the that will give you the employee object and from out of employee object we can get the basically employee name and then compare to method you'll have to call and again you have o2 dot get value then get employee name right so in the, this way uh, i would like to sort basically this key is based on the employee name if you want to sort 
in descend this will sort in the ascending order if you want to do descending order then here simply you have to do o2 and here o1 and that will short descending order of the employee name here so here uh, here basically instead of creating this anonymous class you can you can create a out of this anonymous class you can create a lambda expression so either you can create a manually this lambda expression or uh, eclipse will support you to basically create a lambda expression if eclipse support java 8 10 so just you need to put cursor over here and press control one and here you can see the option convert to lambda expression so here just i have created lambda expression out of anonymous class so here you can see the code is looks very beautiful right again you want to convert back into the anonymous class then put your cursor over here just after this lambda expression sign press control one and click here you have again a convert to anonymous class you can do that right so just i'm going to undo yeah now uh, this list got shortlisted and this list contains nothing but the content of this employee object it's just map itself right so what we can do we can do for each uh, on this list right so we can iterate this list yeah so here i'll do again lambda expression and within this i can print key value pair so here i will say e dot get key yeah and just separate with a tab and then i will uh i will i will also print a value for value so get value right this is nothing but the employee object so key is the nothing but integer right that that is going to print by this get key and value nothing but employee object that is going to print by the e dot get value right so employee object i have overridden two strings so not uh, not you don't need to worry this will create entire uh, employee object state if i run then you'll see how uh, records get shortlisted so initially just i have printed uh, the map uh, contained right and after that once map is sorted based on the values when i say values i have sorted based on the name right so here you can see uh, this uh map values is sorted based on the employee name itself right so this is the way to basically sort the custom object and if you want to sh if your employee is constructed uh, with the pre-existing classes as a key and value then you can do in similar way right so which we had already learned in the previous video tutorial guys as far as this code concerned i'm going to post this code on my blog kkjavatutors.com and uh, source link i will provide in the video description itself so guys big thank you for watching this video and thank you so much for watching this video